Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life and Christmas in July. Today we're going to make a mantle sign. I'm super excited for it. Um, yeah, it's not a Dollar Tree haul. Some of the things are, but most of it's not. But that's okay. It was stuff that I had on hand and you can make yours your very, very own. So this is gonna be kind of a long one, I'm a fair, uh, maybe, we'll see. But I'm gonna show you what I bought. Um, what we're gonna use are these houses. Um, the wooden ones, I bought nine of them. This is going to be a hard one to video too, because I glued them all together. So you'll need, and we're going to spell a word, so whatever word you want. If you have three, you can spell joy, you could do Noel, you could do welcome. Um, some E6000 glue works really well to hold these together. I had some clamps from the Dollar Tree to hold together. Um, you're going to need some letters. Now I used my Cricut, um, but you could also use the poster letters from the Dollar Tree. They're really big. Those would work perfect. Um, I just am using a gift card to smooth things down. Um, if you're using a Cricut or even a sticker, you can use some transfer tape and that helps you line things up better. Um, and I just use for my transfer tape from the Dollar Tree, the clear shelf liner. Um, for tools, I have used some wire snips, some scissors. I use one of these dental tools for my Cricut and a straight edge to clean things up. I am using also some washi and I have the Buffalo check. Um, some of the Christmassy garland that I got last year, but you could also use any type of greenery. A bow, a red bow. Um, I bought these at the Dollar Tree last year and I sure hope they have them again this year because I'll buy a couple more and some wood now these I got at Hobby Lobby a couple years ago but I also got these I'm using at the Dollar Tree these little things and they had some straight ones too just not quite as straight as those so I'm choosing those I'm also using some bristle brush Christmas trees and hot glue I think that's everything this is like I said this is gonna be a little in-depth um, not hard at all we're just going to have some fun so give me a moment I need to get my desk cleaned up and set up and then I will show you how I put this together um, the next clip you're going to see is me trying to spray paint it which didn't work very well and Maybe me painting it. Yeah, I think there's some of me hand painting this all together. So those will be first and then we'll come back and I will show you how I'm going to decorate it. All right. I'm so excited. Ho, ho, ho. Hold on one second. All right, so I came back in and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this. I spray painted it, but this MDF board is super absorbent. So the paint didn't stay, but it did cover the back, which is good because I wanted to be able to, um, you know, maybe use less coats of this paint. And I'm using Waverly chalk paint. And I'm doing a rough paint now, just getting some paint on there. I'm hoping that this wood on the inside will only require one coat, um, but if it requires more, that's fine. First, I'm gonna show you a few details, and then we'll bring up the sign um, to create. Um, so here's a closer look at my Cricut. I just wanted some fancy lettering, so I just cut them out of some black vinyl, and um, I can put some video in also of cutting out the pieces. You won't be able to see because this is on black, but I can see the letter. So what we're gonna do is called weeding. And that is just removing the vinyl we don't want. So when I pick up this black vinyl and pull it off, what will be left is a letter. So you pull out all the pieces you don't want. And what I'm left with is a letter. A, le a sticker letter um, and what we'll do what we do is use this vinyl or piece of vinyl 
of this um, clear shelf liner. You put it on here. I rub it down. Part of what I like the gift card for. And then when I'm ready to stick it, I peel the back away and the letter, um, when I do it properly, the letter will stick to the, to the transfer tape or in this case, shelf liner. And then you can see through where to put your letter. And I will show you how I place the letters. Um, but so those are my letters that I have left. I've already stuck a few on. And I'll get rid of that. Now, I made a wreath right here. Isn't this adorable? So all I did is I took this container because I wanted that size. And because this is wired, I wrapped it around just to get the shape. It'll remember that shape when you take it off. And you got to fuss with it a little bit. But what I really want to do is wrap this around itself a few times so it sticks together, right? And it's wire, so that's the beautiful part about this. It will just stick. And then I'm taking a red bow. You could do a green bow. You could do whatever color you want. And then you just twist it on here. And then I will glue this on when I'm ready. But I only need one for this project. But I want to show you how easy it was to create this little tiny wreath. And you can make your own bows. Um, but I know at Christmas time they sell their ties. I think for like mantle or, or some type of Christmas tree ties they have. You can make little wreaths out of that. And I'm not going to clip all this off because I'm not sure if I'm using this one or not right now. Because I have one already made. For what we're going to use it for. The washi tape is important. Um, I don't need the nips anymore, but I might need that. And this furniture scratch thing is in black. You can actually paint your edges with this. I did not, but you can. But And I got these in a three pack from the Dollar Tree, but I use them to touch up the black paint. And then I have glue sticks. And I, I showed you all this and we're having some iced vanilla coffee because it's hot. It's July. So the first, oh, and I have my trees and bells. I just grabbed a bunch of embellishments. Um, it's going to be a little rough going here. Sorry, I'm trying not to scratch the table. Um, because the sign is so large. Um, so I'm going to decorate in here. And I just glued those, I just stuck those letters on. The vinyl that I cut as adhesive. So we're going to decorate in here. And do you see how I did the washi tape? I just wanted that little bit because this is going to sit up on a shelf. So I'm going to show you first how we did the washi. And we're going to go into this one right here. I have one left. And that is right here. There, that should be good. And I literally am going to use these two tools and my, maybe the straight edge if I need it, but we'll try not to have to need that. Took some washi. And this washi I got last year at Target and I'm sad that I didn't buy more. So I'm hoping they have more this year. It, and this is like simple. I'm laying it down in here. And like I said, I just wanted some little bit of detail and this will match my woodland theme that I'm doing. And then we're going to get you right here. And it doesn't have to be perfect for a myriad of reasons, but mostly because nothing's sticking. Now, I'm just kind of rubbing it so I can rip it off clean. Same thing over here. Done. Put the extra washi in the trash. And now I have washi in here. I could take this and just kind of, you just really want to make sure your washi is stuck. Um, now I'm going to take it off because I'm decorating this one, but I just wanted to show you how that goes. So let me rip it out of here, which is fine. That's the beauty of washi also. It does not, um, permanently stick to things. Okay. 
Now, you see we have all of our letters. I've got the B E L. I'm going to show you how I lay these letters down. Um, well, I've got the E taped up, so we'll go down there and do the E next. The E will be the last letter. You know, B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. So, like I said, I rubbed it. I'm peeling off these letters. I'm sorry, this is difficult for you to see. Um, I'm going to put the E in here. And I'm looking how I laid it at the other one. I'm just eyeing it in the center. Um, if you're not comfortable doing that, then you can certainly measure, use a pencil, there, and mark it. So my letters are down. That is how easy this is. Now the next letter going down is going to be the V. I'm just, oop, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just rubbing it. You just want to get it to stick to the clear and not the backing. I love my Cricut. If you don't have one yet and you've thought about it, you can honestly get, this is, my Cricut is a Cricut Air 2. You can get a, um, a 2, relatively inexpensive, because they just came out with another one. Okay, can you see that in there? Laying it down, and I rub it. And pull it. So I have two more letters to go. B E L I E V E. So we have another E. There's a lot of E's in believe. That's okay. Um, I'm excited for this sign. I have not put feet on it. I'm thinking. When I decorate for Christmas, we will determine at that point if I need feet when I put it on my mantle to get it a little higher than the other decorations. So that'll be a last, kind of a last minute decision when I get it set up. So for now, I'm not putting feet, but if I want to, I can totally just glue um, feet to the bottom of this. Now this is an I, it's a two part letter. So you just wanna make sure both your dot and your letter. The beauty of this tape, or using like this vinyl to transfer your letters, you can lay things out and transfer stickers, any stickers, it doesn't have to just be a letter. Now, here we go. And just like that, we have all the letters on here. I know it's difficult to get a full view. So I think what's going to happen is in this last one we're gonna decorate here, we're gonna put some logs um, with a couple Christmas trees, I think, on top. One over here and two over here. I think we're going to do something like that down here, maybe. Um, and then I could also like do it even like that. And then maybe a star or something up here. I'll have to cut one out, but I don't have one right now. But I do like the way they are kind of smushed up over here in a line. And then I think I will um, put something else. Let's see. I will put something else like over here. I just have to find maybe a little reindeer or something. So let's glue these down. It's going to be kind of a challenge to glue them in this position, but we can do it, guys. So hot glue, you could use E6000. Honestly, you could use whatever glue you want. You just wanna get it in there and hold it hard. See that? All right, let me see if I can do this next one at an angle. Trying to get the textural stuff out front. There we go, you see that? 
And now we need to glue our trees down. And these are bottle brush trees. And like I said, you can use any glue that you would like. We're gonna put this one up top here. I could put a little pile of snow or get a little snowman for over here. But for right now, I'm just gluing my trees down for this end. I don't have all of my Christmas crafting stuff out, so we're gonna work with what we've got. There we go, and then we have this tree in here. And like I said, you could spell any word you want. You could spell your child's name. You could put Welcome Santa. You know, it depends on how many of these houses you have gotten. Or you could use the shadow boxes and use um, the backside of them. Flip them around and paint them, the pictures. Oh, I like that a lot. So we're going to have to figure out something to go in this little spot. And I will create, figure out something. But we need that to dry. And then on the other end, I'm making a... Um, slide you down slide you down we're gonna make a wooden fence and we're going to hang the wreath on the wooden fence so let me move you over here real quick there we go got you moved over and this one you'll definitely get a better view of so what I'm thinking is filling this up and making like a fence not the bent one. So we're looking for some straighties and some thinner and some thicker. And let's see if we can find one more that will fit down in there. What do you think of that? Glued into place. Either the wreath up top or the wreath on the fence. I think the wreath on the fence. Maybe not. Because I feel like we need... Yeah, we need the wreath up above the fence. And maybe I'll get a little piece of garland and hang on the fence. How about that? Okay. So, to do this project, we're just gluing down sticks. And then dropping it in the place. And I'm just taking the glue gun. And if you get some cobwebby thingies, little stringies, it's okay. We can clean them up later. All right, nothing major here. And then I'm going to need to let all this dry and get it downstairs so I can get a proper picture and video to show you the finished product um, with it dry and sitting upright so you can see it. All right, well, that is all to this project. I will tell you, it was very simple to do. It was very time consuming, granted, but it was pretty simple to do. And then I'm gonna put him up there in that little end, end. And then it's the word believe. And I need to find like a little Santa or something. Um, so we'll be back in a little while and I will show you the finished product. And here is the finished product product I'll bring you up closer to see uh, what we have but down here I put a little fake snow in the bottom and my fence with the wreath and then our letters that say believe on the sign and then down here I decided to just put some more trees on some wood and this is going to be magnificent. Let me get you a better shot. Magnificent on my mantle this year or in my front window. I haven't decided, but I have a nice bay window that it might look good in. So when I come home at night, I could light it up. But I hope you enjoyed and you have a wonderful night. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas.